Hello everyone, I am your narrator, paranormal poet, and a happy spooky Saturday to you. Join me as we delve into another true, terrifying, user-submitted story. Warning, the following content you are about to hear may involve certain phrases or words that could be triggering to some who have gone through them. Sound effects used to enhance immersion may also be of discomfort for some. This is your heads up. Viewer discretion is advised. Story 4. Ghostly Intrusion Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Rory, and thank you for taking my story. I was afraid of how I would be looked at if I told my friends or family. But seeing how you made me feel safe and not judged gave me courage to give you this one paranormal experience I had. To start, this happened a few years ago in my current flat. I've lived here for six years. I've gotten used to all the creaking noises to know what's the house just adjusting and what's of concern. Keeping in mind before this event, I was incredibly skeptical of ghosts and stuff like that but this night changed my opinion on the matter. One night I was in my bedroom on a Discord call with friends online. We were gaming for about two hours now and everything was orderly. Then out of the corner of my eye, I saw the outside lights light up in my backyard. I lifted the blinds to see who was out there. No one, but these were activated by motion. My dog was downstairs sleeping and being that he was old and couldn't necessarily walk that well, he couldn't have triggered it. I began to feel uneasy as the cold chills began traveling up my spine. I shrugged it off and felt the need to use the bathroom, so I headed across my hallway to the bathroom door. Before I could even touch the doorknob, I heard heavy footsteps downstairs. They were pacing from the sounds of it. If my dog was awake, his footsteps would sound like light pattering. This sound was different. It sounded like heavy boots making the wood buckle. I got even more nervous, and my heart was pounding even harder now. I open the door to begin relieving myself, and as I do, I hear the worst thing I've heard all night. It was a loud creak of a doorknob, then the slam. Good thing I was in the bathroom, otherwise I would have pissed myself. It was so loud, I thought to myself, who in the hell is actually in my house? The dog began to growl. I had enough. I grabbed my baseball bat and went to confront whoever was in my house. As I began to scan every room, I noticed all the windows were closed and locked. No draft. Then I look at the couch where the dog was and seeing him look into a corner intently. But it was just a wall with furniture. Nothing I could see. There was a storage area I often put household junk to clean, and from what I remember vividly, I left that door slightly open before I went to my bedroom, so that was the door that slammed by itself. I couldn't find anyone. Safe to say, I didn't sleep well that night. Whatever it was, or whoever, that certainly got my attention, and my stance on ghosts have changed indefinitely. Be sure to subscribe for more narrated content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet.